It may be cold outside, but inside, the salsa band is keeping things hot here for the second annual Sparkle and Ice event in Niagara-on-the-Lake. We had the chance to speak with Janice Thompson from the Chamber of Commerce to find out the details. Tonight we're here in the courthouse in Niagara-on-the-Lake for Sparkle and Ice. And it's a wonderful evening for our restaurants and our wineries to showcase their finest, most creative dishes and most award-winning wines. And tonight we have this beautiful Latin music as a backdrop. And we just saw some wonderful dancers as well. Yeah, that was exciting, wasn't it? That was with the world champions, the amateur salsa dancers and the energy salsa group. It was just great to see them. Now, can you tell me about the diamonds that everyone is getting as they arrive? Well, I'm glad that we've convinced you they're diamonds because they're actually cubic zirconias. Everyone's receiving one as they arrive. And at quarter to 10 this evening, our Lord Mayor, Pat Dart, is going to be announcing the winner, which person in the room will receive a 0.6 carat diamond. So we're looking forward to that. Now the diamond that we're awarding tonight has an appraised value of $4,800. So it's a beautiful, beautiful quality diamond. And when we leave here, we'll go out to the 30-foot ice bar, which is outside on Queen Street, and everyone will receive a glass made of ice. And they will have a sample of ice wine. And then we'll just look towards Simcoe Park, where there'll be an amazing fireworks display. And that's in honor of two things. First of all, the launch of our Ice Wine Weekend, this Ice Wine Festival, and also the fact that this year, 2015, is the year of the Pan Am Games here in Ontario. And we know that of those 41 countries that are going to be represented at the Games, all the visitors that are going to go, the athletes, the coaches, no one is going to come from around the world and not want to come to Niagara. So we're getting ready as a community to say we love Pan Am and we're looking forward to that excitement in the summer. All right, Mr. Lord Mayor, it's been a couple of months, so how are you finding the job so far? It's been uh, actually really, really fun. You know, uh, there's some tough days and some, some easier days, but by and large, I've uh, really enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's been uh, quite a, a learning uh, experience, that's for sure. All right, for our Kojiko viewers at home, do you have any special and important announcements about the Ice Wine Festival? Well, this, uh, this year it's two weekends, so we're going to keep everything set up for a couple of weekends and, uh, and let uh, everyone from uh, out of St. Catharines and Niagara in general uh, come down. Niagara-on-the-Lake uh, residents can enjoy it, but, but we can let the rest of the world in. And uh, we have a great tourism sector here, so we, uh, we hope to invite everybody and everybody in, will come down and enjoy it with us. Okay, Jill. Hi. So you're here tonight from the Oban Inn. Can you tell me about what your specialty is? Uh, tonight I'm actually making whoopie pies filled with ice wine marshmallow. So you can know a little bit of whoopie. So does it taste like wine? It doesn't taste like wine. It tastes like sweetness. Any dessert tastes good. It's all dependent on how you use it, right? So what we've done here, we've actually cooked off some of the alcohol in it, so you actually get the nice sweetness of the ice wine in there. So there's not really that wine flavor, you get the sweetness of it. What are people saying about it so far? They're all saying the same thing, whoopee! Okay, last year we had uh, the Ice Wine Festival at Village just for one weekend, and the second weekend we had the events happen within the shops. We did shopping and you tasted the wine and the food within the shops. This year we're putting that on the street, that element out on the street as well. The shops will still be open and participating and offering a great refuge for people to get out of the cold if it happens to be cold, but we're looking forward to a great weather forecast this weekend, three degrees. The one highlight I haven't talked about is the white on ice dinner, which is being held next Thursday outdoors in the heritage uh, center of our town. People will dine outdoors, our chefs from Signature Kitchens and our wineries will serve them in tents with a little bit of heat pumped in perhaps, but that's one of the great signature events of Niagara-on-the-Lake. And the winner is Ronald Dioff. Ron, so you're the lucky winner of the diamond. How do you feel about that? It's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> we were actually joking about it when we were on our way over to the festival thinking, okay, what do we do if we win the diamond? And I thought, I'm going to give it to Frank. You are? I am. Are you going to get a piece of jewelry made out of it? 
Uh, most likely, yes. <laughs> yeah. Did you come to this event last year or is it your first time here? Um, actually, we came here two years ago in the summertime and picked up some flyers that, you know, advertise the uh, winter uh, wine fest. So here we are a couple of years later. Everyone's made their way outside for the ice wine toast and the fireworks have just started. It was a great evening for the kickoff of the ice wine festival and make sure to come out for it as it's on for the next two weekends. For more information, you can visit the Chamber's website. In Niagara on the Lake, reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Lilly.